A bucket that has a mass of 30 kilograms, when filled with sand, needs to be lifted to the top of a 20 meter tall building. You have a rope that has a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms per meter that must be secured to the bucket. It takes one meter of rope to secure the bucket. Once the bucket reaches the top of the building, it only has a mass of 19 kilograms. Because there was a hole in the bottom and the sand was leaking out at a constant rate while it was being lifted to the top of the building. We want to find the work done lifting the bucket, sand, and rope to the top of the building. So looking at our notes below, if an object moves in a straight line by a continuous force big F of X, then the work done by the force from X equals A to X equals B is given by this def integral. So a couple important things to notice here. First, we're given information about the mass, not the force. So we'll have to use the formula force equals mass times acceleration in order to find big F of X. And because the mass is given in kilograms, the acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Also, the mass of the bucket is changing as it's lifted because the sand is leaking from the bucket. And also, the mass of the rope is changing because the length is changing as the bucket is lifted. So we'll have to have an expression for the mass of the bucket, an expression for the mass of the rope, and then multiply the sum of those masses by acceleration due to gravity, which again is 9.8 meters per second squared. Let's begin by determining the force function big F of X. So again, we're going to have two expressions for mass, one for the bucket of sand and one for the rope. Then we'll multiply the sum of those expressions by 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's first determine, so let's first determine the expression for the mass of the bucket full of sand. Well, we know the mass starts at 30 kilograms, but then it's decreasing every meter because when it reaches the top, notice how it only has a mass of 19 kilograms. 30 minus 19 is equal to 11, so it has 11 kilograms less mass than it had to begin with. And because it's lifted 20 meters to the top of the building, it's going to lose 1 20th of 11 kilograms of mass each meter. So 1 20th of 11 kilograms of mass would be equal to 1 20th times 11 over 1, or 11 20ths. So it's going to lose 11 20ths kilograms of mass each meter the bucket is lifted. So the expression for the mass of the bucket full of sand is 30 minus 11 twentieths x. Again, every meter the bucket of sand is lifted, it will lose 11 twentieths kilograms of mass. Plus, now we need an expression for the mass of the rope. So let's see how much rope it's going to take to start lifting the bucket. Well, there's 20 meters to the top of the building, and it takes an additional meter of rope to secure to the bucket, and the mass of the rope is 0 0.2 kilograms per meter. So we're going to start with 21 meters of rope times the mass, which is 0 0.2 kilograms per meter. Well, 21 times 0 0.2 is equal to 4.2, and this would be kilograms. So this is the beginning mass of the rope. So we'll have plus 4.2, and then every time the bucket is lifted one meter, there's one less meter of rope, and again, each meter of rope has a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms, so we'll have minus 0.2x. So again, we begin with 4.2 kilograms of mass of rope, and then it decreases by 0 0.2 kilograms of mass each meter the bucket is lifted. So we have expressions for the mass of the bucket of sand here, plus the expression for the mass of the rope, and then times the acceleration due to gravity, which again is 9.8 meters per second squared. Let's go ahead and simplify this before we set up the integral. We'd have big F of X equals, well we have 30 plus 4.2, that's 34.2. And then we have negative 11 20ths x 
minus 0.2x or minus 2 tenths x. So negative 11 twentieths x minus 2 tenths x. Well, here we'd have a common denominator of 20. So we'd multiply 2 tenths by 2 over 2. So we have negative 11 twentieths x minus 4 twentieths x, which would be negative 15 twentieths x or negative 3 fourths x. So we have 34.2 minus 3 fourths x times 9.8. And now let's also distribute the 9.8. So big F of x is equal to 9.8 times 34.2 is equal to 335.16. Then we have minus 9.8 times 3 fourths x, which would be 7.35x. So we have minus 7.35x. So this is the force function that we need in order to find the work done lifting the bucket, sand, and rope to the top of the building. The work is equal to the integral. Now if the limits integration, because the building is 20 meters tall, integrate from zero to 20 of big F of x, which is 335, 0.16 minus 7.35x integrated with respect to x. Let's evaluate this on the next slide. Integrating with respect to x, the antiderivative would be 335.16x minus 7.35 times x squared divided by two. Well, 7.35 divided by two is equal to 3.675 so we have minus 3.675x squared. Now we need to find big F of B minus big F of A. So when x is 20, we have 335.16 times 20 minus 3.675 times 20 squared. And then when x is zero, both terms would be zero. 335.16 times 20 is equal to 6,703.2 minus 3.675 times 20 squared is equal to 1,470. And this difference is equal to 5,233.2 and the units would be joules. Going back to our first slide, under these conditions, the amount of work done lifting the bucket, sand, and rope to the top of the building is 5,233.2 joules. I hope you found this helpful.